Good afternoon and welcome back to the Urban Preparedness Channel. I am your host, the Urban Cockroach. Now, today I want to talk about something really small, really specific, and then later today we're going to post another video, but today's video is something I really, really, really wanted to bring up because the people at Craft Holsters are absolutely amazing. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, anytime I do a video outside or anytime I do a video with a jacket on, for the last two and a half weeks, I have been wearing a concealed carry holster. I know. I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of opportunities for people to spot my holster, and I've asked numerous people that I found open carrying out in town if they were able to spot my holster, and none of them were. Now, normally, that wouldn't be a big deal, because concealing a pistol is not that hard. However, my everyday carry is a full-size Kimber Custom Stainless Model 2 full-size commander. And I have heard a million people say that you can conceal any weapon in the world, but you can't conceal a 1911. And that is mostly true. Mostly. Uh, all the way up until I got in touch with Al over at Craft Holsters. I want to do a, a personal shout out to Al at Craft Holsters because he is amazing. They didn't have a holster in stock for my 1911, but after I reached out and I spoke to him directly, he was able to contact the manufacturing line and have them build one directly for the Urban Cockroach. And I've been promising that I was going to talk about how amazing their product was. But I wanted to make sure I had a full understanding of just how awesome this holster is. And so for all of you, it's incredible, okay? They hand stitch it. The screws lock into tabs. It's fully adjustable. It fits snugly. The base of the holster fits just down below where my arms would naturally hang in my jacket and it holds so snug to your abdomen that the actual handle of your large frame pistol is tucked underneath your pectoral muscles so nobody can spot a full framed pistol even when you're concealing it with a shoulder holster because a lot of us have noticed that you're going to get that jacket bulge not with a craft holster, not with this setup it's absolutely awesome. So I'm going to put the link to their website in the comments down below. So if you want to get your own craft holster, now I want to let you know they're a little bit more expensive than some of the knockoffs that you can get on Amazon that are made in China and by other craft companies. I'm putting my seal of approval on the fact that this holster is incredibly well made. I'm putting my seal of approval on the fact that their customer care relations is incredible because when I reached out to Craft Holsters, they did not have in stock the setup that I wanted and they were willing to reach out to their manufacturing line to have one custom made just for me. Anybody that's willing to put that much effort into making sure that their customer base gets exactly what they want when they buy their product, I'm 100% going to give the thumbs up on it, okay? One, it's less than 160 bucks. Okay, it is unheard of to find a great handmade leather holster for under 160 dollars. It just is. Okay, and it's not the crap knockoff that you're going to see all over Amazon. These are awesome, amazing holsters. And another thing that I wanted to show you really quick that came with this holster is this right here. Okay, it's a small break-in kit, is what they call it uh, by Craft Holsters. But what it really is is it's a leather treatment. But what I absolutely love about this leather treatment is when you look at this leather holster, even after I have treated it numerous times, it still has that matte black finish. Okay, it's not the, the shiny leather finish that you see with a lot of leather treatments. And that's another awesome thing. Because for me, with my gray man mentality, with my constantly not wanting to stand out in public, I don't want anything that makes you draw your attention to something. Okay? Colorful shiny straps underneath your t-shirt are going to show in certain proper light. It's going to show when you step into, say, a bar or a nightclub where there's black light. This one does not show. I've worn it in 
a ton of different environments just to see where it would show up, where it wouldn't show up, whether or not people would be able to notice it, and zero people have been able to notice this holster while I was wearing it. So, for all of you who have been asking me how I can seal a full-size Kimber Custom Stainless Model 2 Commander, I do it with Craft Holsters, and their website's going to be down in the link below. I really, really, really hope uh, that you go ahead and check out their website. If you want, you can put down there in the comments that the Urban Cockroach sent uh, you their way. No, I'm not going to get any kickback for it. I'm not going to get any sort of like kudos or thumbs up or anything. I just want them to know that the awesome customer service that they did by making me a holster when they didn't have any in stock paid off and it, it drew more customers their way because they really are an awesome American company that makes an awesome American product right here in the USA. So like all my other products, it's got that American seal of approval on it too. And I actually have two other videos that I want to work on today. So the Urban Cockroach is going to scurry on out of here, but I really wanted to do a video specifically for craft holsters because of how incredibly happy I am with their product. Um, and if you want to get a closer look at it, there you go. You see where it holds that 1911 really snug to my body? You don't see that with most shoulder holsters. Okay, you don't see that with the mag pouch portion of the shoulder holster. Normally, they have a really great leather holster and then a horribly designed attachment to hook it to your belt, things like that. You're not going to find that with craft holsters. Craft holsters, they're just, it's a 100% great piece of gear. So if you absolutely need a new holster and you want to conceal it, hell, even if you don't, because they look really good. So if you want to wear it on the outside of your clothes, go right ahead. It looks amazing on the outside too. Another thing that I almost forgot that I absolutely have to tell you guys, their holsters are modular. Yeah, that's right. If you don't want to wear it on your shoulder harness, you can take the shoulder harness off and wear it outside of the waistband directly on your belt. You almost never see that. You almost never see a holster that you can wear on a shoulder rig as well as on your hip, unless it's one of those like plastic, Serpa, whatever, modular crap that you can get from like Blackhawk at overprices that were manufactured somewhere in China, assembled here in the States, and then shipped to you in American uh, con uh, consumer. With craft holsters, everything's made here in the United States. It's all leather. It's all incredibly well made. And it's just as modular. So if you want to outside carry it, you want to conceal carry it, you want to outside shoulder carry it, all of that works with a craft holster. And it's the only shoulder holster that I have tried, and I have literally tried hundreds of shoulder holsters. It's the only shoulder holster I have ever tried that actually successfully conceals a full-size 1911 Commander. And that's all the Urban Cockroach has to say. So... Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and then go straight on over to Craft and let them know when you place your order that the Urban Cockroach sent you their way. Thank you very much, and I'm going to scurry on out of here.